Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from millimeters to micrometers. So we have a table here, which is a wooden Wentworth brain size scale. Wooden Wentworth brain size scale is a great scale for classifying the diameters of sediments. So as you can see, uh, rain size can be expressed in three units. We have millimeters, micrometers, and uh, phi. So I'm going to show you how to convert from millimeters to micrometers. So we're going to use this value, which is in millimeters. That is 0 0.06 to 5, and then I'll use it uh, as an example to show you how to convert to micrometers. This uh, value here is the boundary between sandstone and seastone. So before we do this conversion, it is important for you to know that one micrometer is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 millimeters so this is in a uh, standard form and this is the same as as uh, 0 0.01 millimeters and also one micrometers is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 meters which is also the same as 0 0.0006 meters so we have uh, 0 0.0625 millimeters. We want to convert this to micrometers. So in order to do this conversion, we are going to change this decimal number to a standard form. So, in order to change it to a standard form, we are going to move this decimal point to here, which is between uh, 2 and 5. So, we are going to write down 62.5. So, negative uh, to the power of uh, the, the numbers of places that we are going to move this decimal point from here to here. So let's count it. We have one, two, three. So it's three. So times 10 raised to the power of negative three millimeters. You can write this as 62.5 times one times 10 raised to the power of negative three millimeters so as you can see we have um, 1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 millimeters which is equivalent to 1 micrometers since we have already established the fact that 1 micrometers is equal to one times ten raised to the power of negative millimeters. So we we can substitute these for this. So let's simply uh, put this into this. I'll replace it with the, the unit. So we're going to have we're going to have a uh, six two point five times one micrometer which is the same thing as 62.5 micrometers if we approximate this we have 63 micrometers there's another way that we can convert this 
from uh, millimeters to micrometers, which is more simpler than the first method. One micrometers, which is equivalent to 0 0.001 millimeters in decimal form. So we want to convert from 0 0.625 millimeters to micrometers. So let's uh, assume that x is the unknown value that we want to convert to. So we are going to do a sort of a, a cross multiplication here. Like uh, we are going to cross multiply this uh, by saying that x multiplied by this and uh, one micrometer multiplied by this. We have x multiplied by x multiplied by 0 0.001 millimeter equals 0 0.0625 millimeters times micrometers. So let's make x the subject of formula. So we have S equals 0 0.00625 millimeters times micrometers divided by 0 0.0001 millimeters. So this we consider this. So we'll be left with micrometers. So, we have, let's divide it using the calculator. So we have 0 0.006, sorry, uh, supposed to be a single zero. One zero, not uh, two zeros. So I quickly correct this. Zero six two. So, so we have point zero six two five divided by point zero zero one. As you can see, we have six two point five micrometers so we can approximate this so if you approximate this we have 63 micrometers now we can convert from uh, micrometers to millimeters that's the reverse so in order to convert from micrometers to millimeters which is much simpler than the, the conversion from millimeters to micrometers we are simply going to choose you know multiply it by the standard form so we're going to have 6 to 0.5 micrometers the unit micrometers here Is the same thing as one times ten raised to the power of negative three millimeters. So we are simply going to substitute this standard form in place of this unit. So we have six two point five times ten raised to the power, power of negative three millimeters. So this is the same thing as six two point five times 0 0.001 millimeters 
So if we multiply this using the calculator, multiply by 0 0.001, 0 .01, we have so we have 0 0.0625. Millimeters. So that's the answer. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And also, I'm going to show you how to convert from millimeters to phi in the next video. Bye.